What's up guys? So today's video tutorial is going to show you guys how to bypass an MDM profile on an Apple device. This particular device is going to be an iPad Pro 10.5 inch Wi-Fi and cellular model. Model number is A1709. So long story short, buddy of mine had this iPad, pretty much can't use it, so he brought it to me to bypass it so he can actually use it. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys how to actually bypass it on your device as well, if you happen to have a device with the MDM profile. Alright, so before we go even further into the video, you will be needing a Windows machine. Laptop, desktop, it does not matter. I'm personally going to be using my MacBook Pro that has Windows 10 installed, so that's what I'll be using. If you do not have one, go find a friend, cousin, whoever it may be, to then let you borrow their uh, computer for a second, or you can do it right there with them. It's not going to take very long, guys. I promise you that. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys on this iPad. There's only two screens that I can maneuver, which is this one right here and this one right here. That's it. So that's why my buddy wants me to bypass this. So now we're going to go into my settings. On the top left-hand side, it says, This iPad is supervised and managed by whoever the company is that has the MDM profile installed. All right. So on the right-hand side, it says, Device Management. Click on here. Clearly, you can see MDM profiles already configured and installed on this device, I mean, which I really don't care about because my main thing for him is to bypass this so he can actually use an iPad. So one more important thing, you guys, Apple ID. If there's a login on here and you do not know the credentials to it, do not factory reset the device or you will not be able to use the iPad, period. Now, if you know the actual credentials and you have it you know, signed out, then that's perfect. That's exactly what you guys want. So again, if you do not know the Apple ID login, do not factory reset the device and do not install a new firmware or you will be locked out of it unless you know the Apple ID. So real quick, I am going to be doing this on 14.7. The iPad was on 14.6 when he gave it to me, but I went ahead and did it on the 14.7 because I just wanted to see if it worked. So I'm going to show you guys that it does in fact work on any version 14.0 and above. All right, guys, so in the description of this video, I'm going to provide you guys three different links. The very first one is going to be this website right here called everymac.com. If you do not know what model device you guys have, all you have to do is look at your device. On the back of it, it usually has some kind of serial number. Type in your serial number right here. Click on I am not a robot. And it will provide you with what actual model you have. As you can see right here, it's iPad Pro 10.5. And it pretty much tells you what year it was made and all the other specs for this actual device. So then you want to go over to this website right here. Click on iPad for my particular device is going to be an iPad. And since we already know what model you're going to have, for me it was going to be this one right here, iPad Pro 10.5 inch cellular and Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click on this one. And this is where you're going to go to download the firmware for your actual device. If you want to go back to 14.6, 14.7, whichever one you want, download that so you have the file ready for whenever you're ready to actually reinstall the firmware on your actual device. And last but not least, this is going to be the device uh, software that we're going to be using. It's called 3U Tools. For some of you guys are familiar with it already, I mean this is pretty much the same thing. If you actually install this, I'm going to show you guys in a little bit later, that you cannot actually use this to bypass it because it's going to tell you that it's not supported. So if I actually go in here right now, I'll show you guys real quick. And if we go over to where it says Toolbox and you go to, let me see, Skip MDM Lock. It says this function does not currently support systems above 14.0. That's totally fine guys. I'm going to show you guys how to bypass that. Just give me a little bit and we'll go from there. But for you guys right now, just go ahead and download the software. Download whatever firmware you're going to be using. And then if you do not know what model, go ahead and look it up right here. So you have all those files ready for you guys to uh, bypass this MDM lock. All right guys, so with the iPad on, you're going to want to pretty much connect your iPad charger to the computer and to the iPad. From here to enter the recovery environment, you're going to want to hold down the power button on the top of the iPad and the home button at the exact same time. So from here, we're going to go ahead and just hold both of those buttons together until the actual iPad shuts down. Continue holding those buttons together until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, it's going to power off one more time. So we'll go ahead and just give it a second. Once it shuts off one more time, then you can release the home button, just like that. Continue holding on to the power button on the top, and you're gonna see this screen right here. This will let you know that you're actually in the actual recovery environment for the iPad to install the new firmware. All right guys, so with your device connected to your laptop, Pretty much all you're going to have to do when you open up the 3U tools, you're going to see a screen just like this one. It's going to say iDevice connected in recovery mode. 
you're going to want to go to where it says go flash and then assuming that you already downloaded the firmware like i mentioned in the previous segment you're going to want to go where it says select local firmware you're going to want to click on import click the local firmware that you actually just downloaded for me it's going to be the 14.7 and click open before we flash make sure that the box right here says auto activation is checked and then you're going to want to make sure you click on this on the middle option that says quick flash mode so don't use retain data use the quick flash mode right here so from there go ahead and click on flash and then click on flash one more time to confirm and this will begin the installation of the firmware that you downloaded now i'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait till this thing is completely done and i'll be back so we can go ahead and finish up this video when you reach this screen that means that the actual activation is successful and that the flash has completed your ipad may take a little bit longer to catch up so if it's not done flashing and you don't see the home screen yet just go ahead and let it finish doing its thing and eventually you're going to see the little hello screen so from here you can go ahead and click on ok just click on where it says i device and make sure that your device is activated if you do not see it say yes right here one thing you can try to do is disconnect it from the charger reconnect it and then open up itunes and set it up as a new device and then open up 3u tools if it still does not say activated you should see a little button right here that says activate click on it disconnect it from the charger and then reconnect and it should say activated if it does not say activated you will not be able to successfully uh, bypass the mdm but from this point we're actually good and we can actually disconnect it completely from the actual computer because you will not be needing the computer anymore all right guys so if you made it this far we're pretty much done so we're going to go ahead and set up our ipad like we normally would so click on your language for me it's going to be english and then from here click on your region for me it's going to be united states all right so we will not be connecting to the wi-fi network here on this ipad even though you see the little icon on the top right hand corner i believe that's picking it up from the quicktime and my macbook pro since i am screen recording my ipad screen so from here we're just going to go ahead and click on next and then click on continue Once you reach the Touch ID page, you're going to want to click on where it says Set Up Touch ID Later. And then click on Do Not Use or Don't Use. Don't Use Passcode. And then Don't Use Passcode again. From here, we're going to click on Don't Transfer Apps and Data. And again, we're going to let this thing time out. Since there is no Wi-Fi connection, it cannot download the profile for the MDM. So once you see the error saying that the configuration for the iPad cannot be downloaded, go ahead and click on your Home button on your actual iPad. Once you click the home button on your iPad, you're going to see these options right here. Click on more Wi-Fi settings. From here, you're going to go ahead and click on your Wi-Fi network and connect. Once you're connected, click on done. And then click on your back arrow right here. Click on your back arrow one more time, all the way up to the touch ID. This is the screen you want to be at. We're going to do the same thing we just did. Click on set up touch ID later. Don't use. Passcode options, don't use the passcode, don't use the passcode, don't transfer apps and data. And then from here, we're going to click on back arrow again. Do not click next. Go back to the Touch ID page right here. We're going to do this one more time. Set up Touch ID later. Don't use. And as you can see, it says location services. You can enable or disable. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and click on disable because I never like to share my locations and then click OK. From here it says welcome to iPad, get started. And as you can see guys, all the applications that you normally would see on a device that does not have an MDM profile configuration, it looks exactly how it's supposed to. Click on settings, about, as you can see I'm still on 14.7. On the left hand side it says this iPad is supervised and managed by whoever your company is going to be supervising it, but the device management is no longer on here. Does not mean that it's not being supervised. It just means that you can actually use your iPad the way you're supposed to. So if you want to download games on your um, app store, whatever you want to do, Google, um, Safari, YouTube, whatever it may be, Netflix, you have full access to your iPad like you normally would. And that's all there is to it, man. If there's anybody out there that has any kind of issues or you guys need any kind of help for whatever reason, Feel free to leave a comment and I'll reach out to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And uh, until the next one, peace out, guys.